My first action, I didn't know it was labor, but it was. Uh, it was a rally and a civil disobedience. And once I found out what they were protesting about and what they were actually rallying about, which was janitor uh, healthcare for 1,300 janitors' children, that's when I was sold on the idea of labor and really labor rights and workers' issues. Being visible, you know, and, and showing these communities um, that we're out here and we care, and I think that's how you get more young people involved. You know? because I think young people attract other young people. It was a way of getting young workers involved in the labor movement. It's not sitting at a meeting, listening to motions and resolutions and, you know, Robert's rules of orders at all times. Sometimes it's that community base where everyone gets to work together for a common goal. Not everybody has family union experience anymore, and we don't teach labor studies, unfortunately, in school the way we should. So a lot of a lot of young workers have no concept of what the larger labor movement is and an understanding that this is the mechanism to retain the middle class. What we've been doing you know, hasn't been working for the, last, uh, for the last couple of decades. A lot of people my age or my friends or my fellow organizers have a lot of input, a lot of something to say and they, are, they don't feel like they're always heard. Our leaders in power now, sometimes they don't want to give up their information, but it's up to us to have them realize that, you know, they're not always going to be here, and neither are we, but we have to share that knowledge, and we have to make sure that, you know, um, that the labor movement thrives. We still have four union contracts in LA, but he was the second one, and we were all excited, but then he fired the non-union workers and bought him a new worker too. He's not even paying minimum wage here. If things continue to stay the same, it's not a positive future, that's for sure. I think a lot more young people need to step up and to really start helping out with taking the reins and really start leading the charge. What does it look like uh, for us to combine the energy and, ex and, and, and enthusiasm of young workers with the experience of folks that have been around for a while. My local actually got a group of young workers and really started mentoring us to move up. And we have one Latina who is 28 years old as the youngest business rep that was hired on our local. We have the Generation Next Youth Council um, that, you know, we've identified um, leaders within our organization and we're helping train them and um, fine-tune their skills to become the future, you know, executive board members or stewards of their organizations to take on those leadership roles themselves. I don't want labor to become a sole proprietorship, which means, you know, sole proprietorships are great if they have a good leader, you know, but the business usually dies when that owner dies. So labor can't be that way. We have to train and educate and prepare tomorrow's leaders now so that when the older generation leaves, it just the train just keeps rolling.